Goodness and grace are never ending. Your miracles and wonders, they astound. Your greatness and your power is everlasting. The mention of your name will resound. Well, hello, Akoi Region. This is Tony Miles, your host of Hey, Hidden Gems of Akoi Region. Happy New Year. And oh my God, that song, I'm telling you, it is a declaration for this year, 2018. I will declare. And guess who my guest is? It is the... Uh, did you write that song? I did. Yes, we have the songwriter as well as the music artist who sung that song here in the studio. And I am so happy to do this uh, interview today because she is one of my favorite people. She is a phenomenal worshiper, and uh, and we're going to learn more about her today. So what I want to do now is introduce you to Jade Giordano. <laughs> hey, Jade! Hello! I'm Thank you so much for having me today. I'm so glad to have you today. I've been yes, wanting sir. to have you on this show for a very long time. Yes, and, uh, you know, uh, for, for some people here in Cleveland, they you may consider you a hidden gem, okay? <laughs> but we're getting ready to expose all of that, that more, more people will know who you are and the powerful worshiper that you are. Thank you. But you are more multi-talented. Thank you. And I just, I'm so excited about having you here. Thank today. you. Me too. <laughs> so to get started, let's first talk, before we get into about your role as a worship pastor, and songwriter. Let's talk about Jade. Okay? Hey. So why don't you tell uh, our audience more about who you are and uh, give a little bit of your testimony. Okay. So I'm Jade Giordano, as Miss Tony has said. And I, first of all, thank you so much for having me again. It's really an honor to be here today. Um, but I grew up in Lake Charles, Louisiana. So down oh down under <laughs> from the south. Um, I so I was born and raised there, and uh, I just remember uh, falling in love with the Lord at, at a young age mm -hmm. and being four years old and really wanting to accept the Lord as my Savior. And so that's kind of my journey, my spiritual journey where it started at, at that young age. And I grew up in a Christian home and grateful for parents who brought us to church. Yes. Um, I have two older brothers and a sister-in-law. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm super grateful for, um, like I said, parents who brought me to church and kind of introduced me to mm -hmm. Jesus at, at that young age. And I remember just falling in love with the Lord and His Word at, at around that age. And um, it wasn't until about my fourth grade year that we moved to a non-denominational church. Okay. And I fell in love with the presence of God. I, I loved Jesus. I loved his word, <laughs> that type of thing. But I fell in love with his presence and really was introduced to um, worship and music uh, to just a really excellent level mm -hmm. and fell in love with, um, like I said, his presence and uh, from that point on, I, I think I was in fifth grade when I joined the adult worship oh, choir okay. and really just had pastors and leaders that saw a gift and saw an anointing inside yes. of my life and really just called it out of me and and saw that and, and said, there's more. Let me mm -hmm. just pull on it and challenge you and call you higher in that. And 
I am really forever changed because of those people in my life and because of the church that I grew up in. I'm just so grateful for that um, that foundation that yes. was laid. And, yes. You Train know, up a child. Come yes, on. <laughs> yes, and I really am a product of that, of yes. that scripture alone. I'm, yes. I'm grateful for uh, a family and a church family that yes. really just um, surrounded me and and brought that out in me, and I'm just forever changed because of that. Um, it was going into my, my high school years that my parents um, got a divorce, and it was very sudden for our family, and okay. really just kind of your world just stops, you know, yes. going into high school years, my brothers were, um, a little bit older, but you know, you never know how you're going to react mm-hmm. until pain, until, um, heartache comes. Yes. But I am so grateful, um, to look back and know that the Lord, um, started my relationship with him at a young age Mm -hmm. because I knew where to run. I knew where to go when hard, when that hard time came. And I really just remember leaning into the Lord and inviting him in the pain, inviting him in the brokenness and not pushing him away. And it really is the grace of the Lord that that is my story versus running the opposite Opposite direction of the Lord. Um, But I just ran into him and he, I found him to be everything that I've ever needed. And even in storms that I've walked through um, since then, he really is everything. And, And that was really just kind of a moment of history with the Lord and I'm, I never want to go back to that place of brokenness again, <laughs> but I don't regret it because it was, it just developed such a deep history with the Lord that I could have never gotten probably on a mountaintop experience. Yes. You yes. know, you, you learn what's inside of you in the valleys and in the hard times. And yes, so you do. Um, I'm grateful that God has brought uh, restoration in different ways in our family and like to God be the glory, glory for that. You know, it's just so neat how um, He'll take brokenness and make it beautiful. So um, there's even a song on my album. It's called "If I Have You," and that really that song has been a testimony to probably every season in my life, and for so many others that if I have yep, God, you. I have everything. Everything. I don't need anything else. And God is so gracious to bring people, mm-hmm. to bring things in your life to um, kind of be an extension of him. But he really, at the center of it all, is everything. And, he, you know, he, yeah. that's my testimony. I love so. it. I love it. Before we get to some other parts of it, I wanted to just pause for a moment because you said something that, Uh, I know my parents got divorced when I was 12 years old, okay? Mm -hmm. And I don't think at that time, uh, even though I received Jesus Christ at a young age, I don't think I had the same relationship. Mm -hmm. So when that divorce happened, I ran away from God, Mm -hmm. okay? And I love it that you said you ran to Jesus, mm. you ran. And I just want to take a moment because I just feel like on my heart, uh, as I told you, I flow in this yes, on I this show. I just feel in my heart. I want you to look at that camera and talk to uh, not only young people, but anyone that yeah. is going through a hard time, mm-hmm. a hard season, yeah. or brokenness, mm-hmm. or heartache, whatever. Talk to them about running to Jesus Mm -hmm. than running away from. Just take a moment and share that. So I just want to encourage you today that whatever you're walking through, as Miss Tony has said, uh, if you're walking through brokenness or pain or heartache or even just disappointment, you, you're discouraged because things haven't turned out the way that you thought they would. Um, situations fell apart before you thought they would be beautiful again. And so I just want to encourage you today that the Lord is your hope. He is the anchor for your soul. And if you will just run to him. He, you will find that he is everything you'll ever need. Let him be the lover of your soul. Let him be the father. Let him be the mother. Let him just hold you. Whatever you need him to be, let him be that for you today, right now. Don't wait. Don't allow anything else to come in 
and be the place of Jesus that he wa- that he wants to be in your life. I was reading a scripture today in, in Matthew, and it talked about how the leper came to Jesus and, yeah. and said, if you will heal me, um, if you can, will you heal, heal me? me? And Jesus said, oh, but I want to. <laughs> I want to heal yes. you. And so I just encourage you today that wherever you are on the road of, of brokenness or triumph or wherever you find yourself today, that Jesus wants to be there for you. He wants to heal your brokenness. He wants to walk with you in your pain. He is not a God who is outside of our pain. No, he walked in our pain and he he overcame our hard places, the, the pain of our lives. And so let him be that for you today. Let him be healing for you today. And I just encourage you that he will exceed every dream. He will exceed every desire and every want in your life. Amen. Thank you for that. Mm. Thank you. I just felt it so deep in my spirit that we needed to come back and take a pause and reach out to someone out there that is hurting. Absolutely. Uh, Before we take a commercial break, I just want to celebrate you as a Lee University graduate. (laughs) Now, you you. know I have to give Dr. Khan a little play here. (laughs) Yes, absolutely. (laughs) Cleveland, we can also claim Jade as well. So uh, let's talk a little bit about your experiences at Lee University, and and you can take that away. (laughs) So uh, right as I graduated high school, I went to uh, Louisiana State University. University for my first year and really just felt like there was it was a great experience but I knew that there was something else I kind of felt a transition in my spirit but didn't know what that mm-hmm. looked like or yeah. where that might be um, and so that's just kind of a part of the journey with the Lord you never know what yes. it may look like but you just <laughs> say yes when he says go yes. so um, right in uh, that year that I was at LSU uh, my mom started coming here yes. uh, to Dwelling Place to Pastor Judy's Institute of Mentoring. And uh, there was, at the time, you guys had intensives yes. uh, several times a year. And so after a couple times of her coming, she asked me to come with her. And I was like, okay, I'll come. <laughs> and I remember just being wrecked coming to just an intensive. And it wasn't even for me. It was for the mentees. <laughs> but I just received so much. So long story short... After a few times of us coming, my mom felt a transition to move to Cleveland right here yes. and to be a part of the move of God that was happening at Dwelling Place. And so um, she extended the invitation to me, and so I prayed about it, and I felt like the Lord said go too. So right as I finished my year at LSU, I applied to Lee okay. and got accepted and began my journey at Lee in 2000. 12 or 2011 and it has it changed my life and I had no idea I had no grid for what Lee would really be like I heard it was a great university that type of thing but Mm -hmm. I had no idea of the, the deposit that I would receive by being there, the friendships, the relationships, the, uh, the professors and the, just the, the learning experience that I got from some of the the greatest professors and and leaders that are at that school. And so um, I completed my uh, degree in pastoral ministries with a minor in music. I love that. And I had the opportunity of being a part of campus choir under Pastor Jimmy and Jonna Phillips. They're amazing. (laughs) Um, And also was a part of chapel band and con center with Dr. Malfit. And so just love him too. Yes, they're all amazing (laughs) and really just shaped my music career in such an amazing way. And I'm just grateful for that opportunity. All right. Well, I tell you what, we're going to take a uh, break here and uh, pay some bills, as we say, (laughs) and so that we can keep bringing these shows on. When we come back, we're going to talk with uh, Jade about being a worship pastor and a songwriter, and uh, we'll be right back. I'm Jim Logan. I'm the president of Logan Thompson. We're pleased to represent people from Upper East Tennessee to the banks of the Mississippi River. But our focus is right here in Southeast Tennessee. 
Logan Thompson right here on the Courthouse Square, telephone number 476-2251. Whatever you need, we are here to serve you. It's Logan Thompson, a tradition of legal and community service. You know that feeling you get when you just scored a bargain? Well, kick that up a few notches, and that's the feeling you get when you shop at the Samaritan Center in Utah. It's three stores in one. An upscale store where you save hundreds on name brand merchandise, a bargain store where every piece of clothing is 75 cents, and a toy store. Plus, when you shop at the Samaritan Center, you know your purchase is going to help a person in need. So come to the Samaritan Center. Donate, shop, and make a difference. The Samaritan Center in Utah. Time for a home improvement? Need to consolidate some debt? Want to talk face-to-face -face with a local lender about the options available to you? If you answered yes, then it's time to contact the financial professionals at Andrew Johnson Bank and talk to them about a home equity loan. There are no closing costs for those who qualify and low interest rates based on credit. Andrew Johnson Bank, the local lender you need the local bank you can trust. Quilts and the art of quilting have been enjoyed for generations. Hyder Hangout, Quilt Fabric and More in downtown Cleveland is all things quilts and much more. Hyder Hangout stocks a vast selection of beautiful fabrics from upholstery to evening wear and will special order hard to find items. Find all the accessories to make any project fun and easy. Hyder Hangout offers expert instruction with classes for the beginner and the advanced. Ready to show your style? Get to Hyder Hangout, Quilt Fabric and More. 219 First Street Northeast, downtown Cleveland. My name is Bill Kyle, owner of Kyle Motors. Our location is 802 20th Street Southeast, next door to Blythe-Bauer School. We have a lot of cars for 5,000, 6,000. If you're looking for that price vehicle, come on in. We have all price vehicles, and our down payments start at $500. My name is Bill Kyle. We look forward to doing business with you. This is Steve Ray, and this is my place. The Midnight Oil Service at Michelin Tire Direct in Ottawa. What do we do? Let me tell you. We sell tires. We service cars. We have gasoline. Even gasoline without ethanol. And around here, I am the Michelin Man. Remember that local service station in your neighborhood when you were a kid? That's us. We've been here 35 years. We put the service back in gas station. Steve Ray's Midnight Oil Service at Michelin Tire Direct in the heart of Ottawa. Welcome back, Okoe Region, and if you just joined us, Happy New Year from Hidden Gems of the Okoe Region. I am so glad to be back with you this year in 2018, and as I uh, said, this is the year to declare. I will declare that this mm -hmm. will be the best yes. year ever, mm -hmm. and what we're saying now, that I do will declare yeah. there will, will be miracles. Be miracles. Yes. And so I am talking with Jay Giordano, <laughs> let me say it that way, and she's back. She is a worship pastor. She's a songwriter, and earlier we played one of her songs. And if you stay with us, you'll see a video of her singing again. We're going to close with that. But right now we want to talk about her opportunity to serve as a worship pastor mm -hmm. for Dwelling Place Church International. Yes. Whenever I can plug my uh, church, I will plug <laughs> <Yes>. them. Because <laughs> I'm so proud to be part yes. of such an awesome, powerful Absolutely. church. So with pastors yeah. uh, Jamie and Judy Jacobs-Tuttle. Mm -hmm. So take it away, Jay. Yeah. <laughs> so I have been a part of Dwelling Place for almost six years now. Okay. Yes. And it has... I, I really am not the same person that came in six years ago, and I am just super grateful for uh, Pastor Jamie and Pastor Judy just pouring into my life and so many others. There are so many people that come in just to be a part of the move of God at yes. Dwelling Place, and it's an honor to be a part of that, too. Um, 
But about two and a half years ago, after being on the team uh, for a while, um, Pastor Jamie and Pastor Judy approached me about uh, possibly taking over uh, the worship department at Dwelling Place. And so... um, I was super honored <laughs> to be able to take on such a, a big role. Yeah, huge. And, you know, <laughs> it was definitely a humbling experience taking on that uh, just because of the, the presence of God that is there mm-hmm. and the responsibility uh, spiritually and in just every area to take on something like that. And it was really one of my greatest honors to say that I have been able to do that. And so um, for the past two and a half years, I had been uh, the worship leader there and been able to grow the team and yes. just see the Lord come in such special ways. And uh, we have an amazing team at Dwelling Place, uh, amazing singers, songwriters, musicians, and just all around great people to be able to work with. And one of my favorite things is being able to walk on that stage and to know that every person on that stage is living right and is living Mm -hmm. pure. And that's really my heart and my passion is just to see this generation walk in purity and holiness and that it is not too difficult and it's not so above us that we can't reach that that walk of purity and walk of holiness. So uh, it was really um, amazing to be able to see that and to be able to worship together as a family uh, from a place of of purity. And um, so... Yeah, I've I'd been there for the past two and a half years, and recently the Lord's just transitioned me into full time ministry, Yay! which is awesome and exciting <laughs> and kind of scary at the same time. But like I said earlier, uh, that is all a part of a walk with the Lord is yes. saying yes when He says go, and yes. it is an adventure. It's a great adventure with God yes. to be able to walk with Him and say yes to even the things that are unknown. Yes. And so I'm I'm grateful for Pastor Jamie and Pastor Judy just backing me and 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 cheerleading me on in yes. this season. And so uh, still being a part of Dwelling Place, uh, but just my role is a little bit different. Yes. So it is awesome to still be a part and connected while still uh, being in full-time ministry as well. Well, so. before uh, I go into how to get in contact with you and everything, one of the things I remember Uh, very distinctly, Um, you always, um, you know, I came prepared. I I always bring God to church with me, okay? Mm, I don't go to church to meet God. That's good. I bring him with me. Come on. But when I would walk in and you were leading, you always took me into that secret place. Mm. And so I have an opportunity to not only, I've told you in the past, but this is where I tell the world Mm. that, oh, my God, you want to go into the secret place or into the throne room of God. She'll lead you. And, and, you. and the other thing I really wanted to touch upon, because not only your album that we have up here, I will declare that's available, uh, and we'll be talking about that. But you also, when you were leading the team, you all, uh, and I think it was your idea, but you all wrote uh, a CD. Yes, ma'am. And y'all, so talk, tell a little yeah. bit about what you all did with that. So in February of last year, uh, Pastor, well, Pastor Jamie and I, before February, we had, he had told me about his dream of us really releasing a sound from our church. Yes. And we have, like I said, we have so many songwriters. It was just a matter of time before we all got together and just came together and wrote wrote songs that were from our church. And so uh, it worked out. God's timing of uh, February of last year, we got together. We went to uh, a retreat in Pigeon Forge Uh and just kind of took a couple of days to get away. And we came prepared with different ideas and brought to the table. And it was amazing. We had never written together all of us Collectively. collectively until this moment. And it was really... Um, the title of our our album is The Heavens Are Open. It was really like the heavens opened. And we came out of that retreat writing eight or more songs. Yes. So, I mean, for us to never write together collectively and to leave with eight songs was really a miracle in itself. (laughs) So it was just really neat to see God, like, just 
breathe on that on those couple days mm. and we wrote an album and like I said it the, the title of it is the heavens are open yes. and you can get that at dwelling place yes. you can call the offices or come to the church and we can get that album for you but it's amazing every single song on there is um, written from our people from yes. our church there's one cover on there but the rest are written from us so yes it's really and I neat. love it Oh, I love that I love CD. it too. It's I really do. special. But I really love I Will Declare. <laughs> you know, Thank I've you. had that almost over a year. <laughs> and I think I've just about, the reason I couldn't bring mine in is because I've just about worn that <laughs> thing out. So uh, so let's talk about, so now you're in full-time ministry. So you're traveling around the, let me say that you're traveling around the world. Well, amen. Come on, come <laughs> on. Speak that. <laughs> come on, I'm going to speak that. I am prophesying you're traveling around the world, uh, uh, bringing the presence of God. Or uh, Let me say it this way, because his presence is always with us. Mm -hmm. But you are helping people to go deeper. Yes, yes. Go deeper and mm -hmm. connect with Father yeah, God. Absolutely. I think that's really just my passion is to see people have that that authentic encounter with him. Come on. And one of my favorite things, if I can just say this yes. really quickly, is seeing people, I mean, you know in church services where it's like everyone in the room is going hard after God yes. at the same time, time with one, you know, with one voice, with one mind. And that is my favorite thing to be able to bring that kind of encounter everywhere that I go, because not every church has that encounter with God. Mm -hmm. And so I just I believe that the Lord has put that inside of me to be able to connect people to him through worship, through songs. And so that's what this album really is about. It's, yes. it's a collection of songs that um, have really ministered to me in different seasons. And so for other people to be able to encounter the same thing is really just an honor. So. I love that. I really do. And um, so if someone wants to get in contact with you, and Bryce, are you, are you tracking with me? Uh, let's go to the website. <laughs> if someone wants to get in contact with you, okay. so how do they do that? They can get in contact with me through uh, my website mm -hmm. at jgiordano.com. Yes. And I'm sure there will be a link up here that you can see uh, to spell my last name. It's a little bit difficult for some. So <laughs> jgiordano.com. And you can go there, and there's a contact uh information. There's an email subscription that you can uh, you can put your email and I will send emails of updates and that type of thing. But my right. schedule, that type of thing is on my website yes. under the schedule tab. And you can also connect with me on social media, yes. with Facebook, Facebook, Instagram, yes. and Twitter. Yes. So, yes. Yes. All, all right. It is all in there. Uh, I just want to say thank you again for coming on today. Thank you. But I also want to tell everyone we have a very special treat for you. Uh, as we are closing out this program today, uh, we are going to show a video. Yes. Of, uh, it, it, it's a uh, compilation mm -hmm. of uh, Jade worshiping. It's also when she had her open concert, um, concert. Yes. yeah her launch of her yes. CD is have some pictures of that but I'm telling you if you really want to experience a deeper encounter with God in 2018 you bring this lady to your church to your women's conferences <laughs> to yeah. your, it, uh, hey, marketplace, training, whatever. Right. Come on, come okay. on. Uh, you know what? Right. She is available, and mm -hmm. uh, you will be blessed for that. And uh, I just want to say as we go out and in this new year of 2018, I would love to declare over each and every one of you, there will be miracles. Mm -hmm. So have a good day, and we'll be coming back to you in a few weeks. But for now, here is Jade. Watch and listen. <laughs>